The film begins with a story in which we see aliens. It's another planet, and they come across a magical and powerful locket. That locket contains sufficient power to control anyone's mind, including human minds. When aliens get this locket, they are able to control power over all aliens on all other planets. It means the other creatures of planets. Gradually, the thought occurs to them, to seize, not the entire planet, but the entire galaxy. For this purpose, they come into the world. Now, all of these strange aliens have arrived on the planet after proper planning. They intended to control the people, but there was a creature, whose mind can't be controlled, it was a bird-like laying egg creature. They call them condors. These aliens easily approached him and tried to take control of him, but he can't be controlled, rather he flees after stealing their magical locket. These aliens pursue him, but they can't capture the creature. The aliens claimed that we didn't have our locket because we had lost our powers. We should return now, they return after becoming terrified. Condor believes they may return, therefore I should hide this locket as soon as possible. He took this locket and, hid it in a hidden place. Many years have passed, and it is clear that people forget a lot of things over time. Humans and condors alike have forgotten about this locket. The condor who had hidden the locket had children of their own, and their children had children of their own. Those creatures, the aliens from the stolen locket, were the ones who didn't forget about it. They didn't go through, life fearing the world, in fact. Rather they went that they are going but will come back surely. Now that we have arrived in present times, there is a football match taking on. Humans are playing the match, but condors are playing the match as well. One of the condor peers was named Xiu. They quickly win the match. The audience begins to cheer them up. Everyone starts tossing the condor, Xiu, into the air. Because he has performed admirably in this match. Xiu does an interview after the match, and his girlfriend joins him, a friend who liked him. She approaches him and says, Xiu, don't you remember it's your mother's birthday today? What are you talking about, Xiu? How could I forget? In truth, Xiu is unaware of this, and the girl's mother does not like him. She believes. He is not suited for her daughter, and he will not look after her. Xiu informs the girl that he would pay her a visit at night. When Xiu walks out with a friend, he notices a wealthy man's car parked in front of their home. In truth, the wealthy man is someone her mother likes. Because he is quite rich and can keep her daughter happy. We can see that this girl's mother is very materialistic. In his car, he drives away with the girl and her mother. And Xiu just keeps on watching. He becomes quite disappointed. He goes to his friends and says, I don't know what I can do. I really love her but her mother wouldn't let us marry. If I haven't done anything she'll marry that wired man. I should tell her today, but the girl's mother, unfortunately, is listening to everything. She rushes over to Xiu and tells him, you dare marry my daughter? I was entirely ignorant that I had organized your engagement. She leaves after stealing his engagement ring. Xiu becomes really sad, when he goes home, his younger brother makes pizza for him, and both were enjoying eating pizza. When they receive a strange call, they pick up the call and there was an alien in front of them. That was video calling them, and Xiu believes they are being pranked. I'm here to tell you something important, alien says. There's a locket in your world and if you give this to us we'll give you anything in return. Xiu and his brother think it funny and say alright, but in return, we demand to take my friend's mother. She has eaten too much, after saying this they cut the call. Xiu according to his promise, visits his friend's house. There, the girl and her parents were celebrating a birthday. Xiu was going to make a wish for her mother when the house began to shake. They are all terrified as a spaceship appears in front of their home. It starts to pull their house, which causes the roof to begin to break. The mother of that girl was being dragged upside by the spaceship. As Xiu said, aliens have done the same. An alien appears and informs Xiu that we have carried out your instructions. Now, as per the agreement, you must comply with our demands. Now give us the locket as soon as, and for this, you've only 24 hours. Xiu becomes worried that what I've done. Xiu's friend, on the other hand, was crying because she was upset without her mother. 
Even if Xia Wu does not want to, he is required to follow the alien's orders. He was originally concerned since his friend was crying and he had been warned by aliens. They leave after he has discussed it with his brother. Aliens have sent him a map of this area on his tablet. They then catch a flight out to follow this area. But the plane doesn't stop at that specific point when they got onto the plane. They notice the place from the downside, they decide to jump from there. They open the plane and jump from there. They jump while keeping their safety in mind, which is why they don't get hurt. They eventually arrive in a jungle, where they become stuck with a tree. They move on after releasing them. Now Xia Wu and his brother begin to find the place of the locket. On the other side, we see the world of that planet. We see all the aliens have gathered around that lady. An alien begin to like that lady, the mother of Xia Wu's friend. That alien asks her whether she'll like to have dinner with us. She feels good after hearing this because no one has ever spoken to her like this love. She informs the aliens that I'm healthy and that this is why I have been bullied because of my health. The alien responds with greater love, saying, You're incredibly lovely. Who could anyone hate you? Her heart melts after hearing this, and she learns to like them. On the other hand, Xia Wu and his brother discover the cave, in which the magical locket is kept. They see a skeleton of condors once they arrive, and it begins to pursue them. After sitting in a trolley, Xia Wu and his brother begin to travel forward. When they enter, they are confronted with a large number of skeletons. That is preventing them from taking the locket, and they are surrounded by them. Xia Wu manages to go to the middle, where the locket is. He takes the locket and wears it to his neck. He gains the benefit of being able to control all the skeletons surrounding him after wearing the locket. Xia Wu proceeds to dance with them after gaining control of them. As they were walking away from the locket, they noticed something in the wall. It was the carved and painted stones that surrounding them. They believe they are aliens that are attempting to control humans after viewing them. When Xia Wu and his brother emerge, Xia Wu's brother advises him to rethink his decision. I don't think it's a good idea to give the locket to aliens. What would happen if they had complete control of the globe? Xia Wu says no to his brother. We've made a promise to them. Along with he video calls that aliens and calls him down. When the alien exits the spaceship, he takes the locket with him. When Xia Wu asks the aliens to return the lady, they laugh and say you can only think. Here the alien has devised him. And after saying this the alien goes. Xia Wu becomes ragged and he sits after being disappointed. What should they do now? After a while, some people appear and take them away. It signifies they've been kidnapped if they've wrapped a cloth around their face. We don't know where they'll go. When they reach that place, where they've taken was a secret places. It was covered all around, and there's a short hair girl, a girl with short hair. From her appearance and personality she looks like an officer. And it becomes true, in fact she is a space defense minister. It means this place protects all the world from the aliens. Both are informed that aliens are quite dangerous. They're shown some aliens, and one of the alien from them was, whom Xia Wu given the locket and after listening to this, after listening to this, they both dragged the officer and the scientist. He informs them that they have both committed a significant error. Are you aware that aliens would have to attack the planet? I can't understand why you gave the locket to them. That was hidden by your ancestors and what you people have done. They all become worried and the scientist tells them that I have a way. But I was thinking how to implement this way. Because if humans go to the aliens, they'll control them. Now scientist shows them a virus and begins to tell everyone. If this virus is inserted in the alien's ship, their ship will be overheated and will blast. And along with this, their locket will be destroyed as well and they won't be able to look at humans. The girl becomes shocked that how will be able to implement it. Then afterwards, Xia Wu says the locket won't affect me if I go to him. Because a living condor is unaffected by the locket. The scientist is relieved. And Xia Wu, the condor, has been appointed to this mission. Xia Wu is seated in the rocket, which has been launched. The officer tells them that all they have to do now is sit in their chairs. Xia Wu asks what will I do when my task will be done? The officer tells that you'll just have to say them, and after that I'll reach there. And we'll come back to take you. 
Xiaoyu now sits into the rocket. Xiaoyu grows afraid as the rocket takes off. He becomes afraid because he is unfamiliar with this type of journey. He starts yelling stop. The rocket was on autopilot and after hearing Xiaoyu's voice it stops. Its engine shuts off, before the rocket declines to their ground and is destroyed. When he grows worried, Xiaoyu's brother gets out of his seat and says to press the red button, Xiaoyu. When Xiaoyu presses the red button, the rocket restarts. They are relieved, and Xiaoyu's brother says, I know you'll make a mistake, so I'll accompany you. They arrive on the planet, bend down, and begin their search for the lady secretly. They see the lady who isn't worried rather she was massaging from them. Xiaoyu asks the aliens to free this lady, you've not fulfilled your promise. You've taken my help and when it comes my turn you're doing this. The alien says don't talk like, you've asked to take this lady. We didn't talk further, and aliens were somehow true. Xiaoyu tries to explain to them that she has a family and a daughter that are waiting for her. He gets kidnapped and imprisoned by the alien. It means the alien's guards capture him. The good news was that Xiaoyu had already installed the virus chip in the ship. It was just left to activate it, and Xiaoyu adds, I'm going to activate it, which means aliens won't be able to attack the world after the blast. He asks his brother to take a seat on the ship, and he tells him that he must return. Xiaoyu's brother seats aboard the ship, but says, I can't leave you behind, come with me. Xiaoyu commands the pin instantly because the female has already set the T-ship on autopilot. The ship begins to move automatically the same rocket on which they've come. Before Xiaoyu before blasts with them in the ship, the lady begins to save him with a laser and begins to flee in an escape boat with him. She tells Xiaoyu that she believes she, too, must return home because I was entrapped by them. When the aliens find out, they start shooting with the laser and destroy their ship. Xiaoyu also sits that lady in his spacesuit because they don't have any other option. They were just about to flee when Xiaoyu's brother arrives with the rocket, and he invites them both to board the rocket. But aliens also destroy that rocket with the laser shoot. They three were roaming in spaceship in a spacesuit. Xiaoyu's brother goes to an alien ship and reaches inside by punching it and takes the locket from the alien. On the other hand, the alien's area has been blasted and they have all been destroyed. Three of them have now arrived on Earth aboard the alien's spaceship. Because of the Earth's movements, when they land on it the rich man's car is crushed by the concrete. He was also punished as a result of his acts. Xiaoyu's friend hugs her mother as they land on Earth. The alien spaceship, on which they'd landed, was taken for research by the scientist. The ring is given to him by the girl's mother, Xiaoyu's friend's mother. She informs him that it is now time for him to marry my daughter. Xiaoyu purposes the girl, will you marry me? That girl couldn't possibly refuse, so she says yes. Xiaoyu after controlling with the locket takes all the wealth of that rich man. Not for him but he makes an orphanage house, it was a good deed. In the movie's final scene, a skeleton comes Xiaoyu and asks him to return the locket because of his goodness. Xiaoyu recognizes him and returns the locket to him. This film ends here happily. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel. Thanks for watching.